what I'm making right now is uh, with this chorizo, some chorizo, some jalapenos, garlic, all these peppers and onions that I just cut up. And I'm going to be making a stuffing that's going to go into a poblano chili that I've got roasting in the oven right now. So I need to kind of get this smashed up a bit and let it get some contact with the pan so it starts to break down and cook out some of that fat because I need some of the fat to help me cook these vegetables. All right, so there's some cilantro chopped up. I'm going to get the jalapenos down right now. Those can get in there. And that, uh, that chorizo fat, you know, we're going to cook with some kind of fat. If it's oil or, uh, or, or chorizo fat or bacon fat, so why not use the chorizo? Let's get some green bell peppers and some red bell peppers in. Matter of fact, everybody can go in the pool except the garlic right now. There we go. This will all cook down a little bit. And then I'm going to be adding in some short grain rice in a little bit. Let that cook almost all the way, almost to the point where we would do service, you know, like we'd be ready to go on the table. But because we're going to be stuffing it into these roasted peppers, we're not going to cook it quite all the way. Look at that. That's a shame to even go and stuff that in anything. Look at the colors. It smells fantastic. Okay, let me hit it with a little bit of kosher salt and a little cracked black. All right, we'll let this sit here and uh, sweat out a bit and build some flavor. Let's go grab these peppers. Okay. Now the peppers have been in the oven 300 degrees, three plus, and let's take a look at them. That's exactly what we're looking for. See how they're starting to wrinkle up a little bit? We're cooking them. We don't want to cook them all the way. We don't want them to get to the point where they're, where they're overdone and they're soggy and, because then they won't hold together when we stuff them with this rice. So those look good, and I'm just going to let them cool down for a second. Let me fire up my grill. All right, there we go. On high. All right, um, short grain rice. A couple other things I need. Chicken stock, white wine, and oh, and there's my chicken. Forgot the basket again. All right, chicken's marinating right there. Chicken stock, white wine, there we go. Look at that. I can even throw a little bit more heat on that. I still want to be able to see the chorizo when I put it into the rice. I don't want it to completely break down. And I do want some flavor and some texture and a little bit of, not crunch out of the veggies, but I don't want to cook them down to the point where I can't notice them. Just before I put that rice in, I'm going to put the cilantro in because the cilantro doesn't want to participate in this big heat right now competing against all those big flavors. Let me get some rice down. I'm going to do just about a cup of rice of short grain. Mix that in. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to mix this for a second and just let the oils of the chorizo kind of mix around the grains of rice to let them kind of become individual so they don't kind of clump together. And just for a little bit, because what I'll add to it right now is the liquids, okay? So the liquids I've got going in is I'm going to do a half cup of water. There you go. I'm going to do a full cup of chicken stock. So that'll put me at a cup and a half. And I am going to do a half cup of white wine. So it should equal out one cup of rice to two cups of liquid. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to throw in my garlic. Get that mixed in real quick. And you can almost see the rice is getting a little bit of a crunch to it. Oh, that's dynamite. You know, this is almost the way that you would start a paella or start um, a risotto is with this way. I don't know that it necessarily has the uh, chorizo in the risotto, but the paella, yeah. Okay. There we go. We'll hit in some of the cilantro. And then here we go. We're going to actually deglaze it with this chicken stock, white wine, and water. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing, lowering the heat. Popping a lid and starting to take the tops off of these so I can get ready to stuff them. Let's take a look. And the rice came out dynamite. What I have here is some short grain rice, a little chorizo, some peppers, um, some red onion, some jalapeno, some garlic. I've got some chicken stock and white wine, all that to cook this. Looks great. Okay, some 2125 shrimp that have been deveined, de shelled, de everything. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop these up and put them into this rice, and I'm going to stuff them into these peppers. Now, the idea of why didn't I put the shrimp in when I cooked the chorizo is because if you put the shrimp in, they go through that whole cooking process of the rice. Well, they're going to also get cooked inside of these poblano chilies. If they get cooked inside the poblano chilies, well, they're going to be real nice little tough little nuggets. So what we're going to do is give them a chance to only have one cooking process if possible. Okay, so those all get chopped up like that. 
And then everybody in the whoa, everybody in the pool. Oh, that's good. And what's going to happen is they'll just take a moment yeah. in this in this rice, and I'll stir them up, and then you guys are going to put them in the chilies. We get hey, to stuff them. Help time. You get to stuff them, but don't eat the rice right now because now it's got semi, you know, uncooked shrimp in it. It'll cook when it goes inside the chili, but uh, not right now. Okay. Okay. And watch the pan; it's hot. There you go, and just fill them up to the to the uh, kind of the top of the chili. Okay. Cool. All right. Slide Wash over this here. off. Bam, Are we done with those? Yeah. What do you think? Okay. Look good. Well, we we've, we've got Too some much. extra for some other peppers. Let me grab these. I'm gonna pop these in the oven. They're gonna go in for about another 15 minutes, right. 10 minutes. But I'll take them out at one point and put some cheese on the top and let it melt. If I put the cheese now, the cheese will melt everywhere. The peppers are done. Stuffed poblanos Man. with shrimp. Rice, chorizo, and peppers. That. See if you can oh, just grab one like this because I don't have a spatula for you. Oh, I gotta get into this. That's a little warm. Yeah, this thing looks awesome. Mm. That is oh, outstanding. Man. So, I've got the possum, I got the part time, I got the poblano. I'm out of here. What I've got here is some avocados that we've kind of hollowed out a bit and filled them with this really great, well, cooked shrimp salad of sorts, but with an Asian flair, some ginger and some garlic and some bok choy and onions and, and well, we've got peppers in there and all this is gonna go together. I'm gonna make a tempura batter and we're gonna fry it. This over here is an Asian slaw. I've got some bok choy and some bean sprouts. And over on this side, I've got this dressing that I'm putting together. Let me start this tempura batter first. Now, tempura batter, a lot of people love tempura because it's nice and light and crunchy, but don't know how to make it at home. And here's some of the quick tips. First of all, tempura batter. That's really the big tip. Uh, you get the tempura batter and want to make it with ice water. Colder the better. Matter of fact, when you're, when you're mixing in the water, um, if you happen to get some ice cubes in there, that's all right. So we're going with a little bit of water. And what we're looking for is the consistency, something kind of like, uh, well, almost like pancake batter. So with a whisk, get everything out of the center of it. Okay. And what's gonna happen is we're gonna actually submerge these into the batter and then put them into the oil. And I've got the oil right around the 350, 360 mark. Okay, there we go. And I'm just looking at it, getting the chunks out of it, not mixing it too much. All right, and take a look at that. That's just what we're looking for. Okay, now here comes the big trick. You got hot oil, you're gonna do tempura. Now in the restaurant at Tex Wasabi's, we dip the shrimp in, we're holding the tail, and we let them go in, and they kinda move away. This, we've got this big item here, so let me put this down to the side. And watch out, because the heat can change the temperature on that. And what we're gonna have to do is figure out a way to get it into the oil, so I've got this trick. So grab, this mixture, be careful with it, because they're sliding all around on the plate. Set it into the tempura mixture, okay? Put some on top of it. There we go. And I've tried this all different ways. I tried it with tongs, but it kept sticking to the tongs. Okay, now get this out. Get some of the extra batter off there if we can. And then just kind of like they used to launch a ship in the Navy, okay? Stand there, crack the champagne, and here it goes. Just like that. Was that quick and easy? Let me just wipe this off, get some of the hot oil off of there, and we're gonna put the next one in. Get some on top of it. There we go. Make sure that we coat the entire avocado in shrimp salad. Now, if you didn't wanna do it this way, you could actually go and just put some panko breadcrumbs on these and they would be ready to go also. Here goes another one down. And try to keep them away from each other if you can a little bit so they don't stick, because that tempura batter just wants to stick next to the one that has tempura batter on it. Kind of gets glued, okay? And I'm wiping it off each time as I do it. There we go, and then we'll put the third one down. Submerging it, using kind of a deep but thin bowl works great for this. Okay, there's still ice cubes down in my tempura batter right now, so I know it's super cold. And then here goes the next one, boom. Okay, so only about three and something about this size. So I'm gonna let those cook. Now let's talk about this. Well, I had some ginger, some garlic. I deglazed it with some midden, some, some uh, Japanese cooking wine, kind of a sweet wine. All right, now I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of sesame oil. Don't wanna put the sesame oil when it's cooking. I wanna put it when it's nice and cool. A little sesame oil, a little rice wine vinegar, and a little bit of olive oil. And this is all for the slaw. Okay, so we put that mixture in, give that a quick whisk, 
Oh, look at that. You could catch all that ginger coming out right off the bat. Nice cool slaw, nice and crunchy. Gonna go along with this really hot avocado that's been tempered with the shrimp salad. It's gonna be a winner. Okay, so that goes in. Give that a quick toss. And let this set up here for a bit. All right, take a look at those. I'm telling you, that is a tempura avocado with a Asian shrimp salad in the middle of it. And we've got uh, bok choy and red bell peppers and garlic and ginger all done together. And then this over here, well, this is the Asian slaw and it's got bean sprouts and carrots and then a nice dressing made with some ginger, some garlic, some brown sugar, a little sesame oil. And uh, actually I have to pop some of the uh, garnish onto this, some fried wontons. And uh, you can't have it without a little crunchy peanuts. All right, and then this over here, well, let's put these up. Oh, look at those. Like I said, if you don't like them fried, putting a little panko breadcrumbs on there or a little tempura bits will work out just great. But me, once in a while, you gotta have the indulgence to just jump right in. But look at them, they're beautiful. This would uh, definitely surprise somebody that you're gonna fry up some avocados. Now, a little uh, sweet chili sauce, just a little bit on each one of them. That's a nice little tangy sweet flavor and uh, hit it with some black sesame seeds for a little contrast in color. All right. Mmm, that is outstanding. First I gotta get into a bite of this avocado before it cools down. Shrimp, done up, sauteed. Mmm, the avocado is nice and smooth and velvety. Oh, it really opens up a lot of the flavor. And then on the slaw, Mmm. Crunchy vegetables, and you know what I pick up right at the end? Is I pick up that sesame oil because I didn't put it in too soon. Put it right at the end and mix it together. My pineapple boat shrimp with fruit salsa. Tender shrimp, onions, and bell peppers glazed in a garlic ginger soy sauce topped off with a fresh pineapple salsa. Served aboard a hollowed out pineapple boat. It looks cool, tastes even better, and won't weigh you down. We're gonna pop these shrimp into this bag. Let me grab some soy sauce about three or four tablespoons of soy sauce in here. But we're gonna put this uh, cornstarch in here, and what it's gonna do is, one, it's gonna work as a thickener when we cook the shrimp. Two, it's gonna help bring some, uh, some texture, like a little bit of a coating to the shrimp. Really works out nice, and I think you find cornstarch used more in Asian food than you anywhere. Okay, um, lemongrass. I love working with it, it's gotta be fresh. Uh, you'll find a lot of grocery stores these days and what we're looking for is that the center part is a little bit more tender. But the, the idea is you come back with a, the back of a knife, kind of beat it up a little bit and I can, I can already start to get the fragrance of it. A lot of times Southeast Asian cooking, Thai cooking, uh, it's really popular. Here's the thing that gets weird about it, is if you cut it too small, it's really super fibrous. So you either need to puree this stuff or like blend it up into nothing, uh, or make it in, in manageable pieces like this that you're able to take it out because this is gonna flavor this marinade, but it's not necessarily gonna get cooked with the shrimp, okay? And some ginger, same idea on that. That looks like enough. So big enough, enough surface area that it starts to touch some of that soy sauce, starts to bring out the flavor. Now, let's get the shrimp into here. Now these are a 2125. I think it's the, uh, I think it's the most common size shrimp to work with. Okay, let me get some cornstarch. Okay, give me a couple tablespoons. Okay, resealable bag. Let me kind of move this around a little bit. All right. There we go. Okay, pop this in the fridge. You can over marinate the shrimp, so watch it. This is gonna be fine in about 20 or 30 minutes. Okay, a little oil on that. Now, half the shrimp is gonna go down. Why? Because if I put all the shrimp in, well, then what takes place is we start to have the shrimp start steaming each other, and that's not really what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna bring the shrimp over. Pan's nice and hot. Oil's moving around in the pan. You can see when we call it fast in the pan, when the, when the oil kind of moves like water in the pan, you know it's hot without seeing it smoke yet. So we'll throw one of these down in. There we go. And if you ask me, they look like they are just about done. Okay, pull these off. I don't want them to cook too much. i will be serving them up in this really dynamite pineapple boat that I have here. And I'm gonna just let this sit over here. Actually, hmm, I'm gonna degla deglaze this just a bit. 
get some of the great flavor off the bottom of this because I'm also going to be putting some veggies back in here in just a second. All right, so got my pan ready to go. I was working on some bell peppers and some onions. Just giving a nice rough chop to those. Wow, it's like confetti everywhere. Okay. And these are going to go in and complement it. Now, over to my right here, I've got a fruit salad. And what I've done is left that out on the counter because I have some serrano peppers that I really got down to a fine, fine dice that are kind of marrying some of their hot oils all around inside of there with the pineapple and the red bell pepper and a little of the red onion. So I'm going to take this jalapeno and just kind of dice it up as well. OK, let me fire this pan back up. Here we go. Actually, I'm just going to bring it over here. Here we go. These veggies will pick up all that flavor off the bottom of this pan. OK. And I also need to get some ginger and some garlic in here. OK. And you know how many times I've seen people sit here and do all this, and they're going, there's nothing in there. Kind of walk away perplexed. you got to give it a little smack on the side of the pan to make sure it all falls off in there. Also, another thing is they give you a guard on these, uh, on these microplanes. Make sure you use the guard, because if you start knocking down the fins, they really don't work too well. OK. Great. The shrimp's going to go right in here, marinated in some ginger and some uh, lemongrass. So just give a little squirt of some soy and bring this right over here. It's going to go into these pineapple boats that I made. Check that out. Load up a pineapple boat. Really nice on the presentation. Okay. Get this in like that. Me, I'm going to get a little bit on my plate. Let's just do a little taster on the side. But look at that great presentation. You take that out to a table. Party of two could go and share that. And then we get this great salsa that I made here with the pineapple that I took out to make the boats and some uh, serrano chilies, some red uh, bell peppers, some red onions. Look at that going on, huh? Tell you that's looking great. Let me crank up a little bit of heat on this pan, and this is where we're going to get started with the onion, the garlic, and the shrimp to make the stuffing to go into these little bad boys, the pepadoos. Okay? So, let me get started on these right now. the last two of the shrimp. Nice having them peeled and deveined, but boy, taking those tails off and cutting them up small enough so they'll go in those pepadoos. There we go. So that goes in with the onions and the garlic. All right, give that a little flip and a little saute. Then I'm going to deglaze right now. And what is this for? Well, it is going to be for this really tasty stuffed pepadoo. You know, these uh, South African peppers, a little spicy, little heat. I'm going to stuff this shrimp mixture into it. You're going to love it, OK? Then we're going to hit a little bit of lemon juice in there. There we are. And just a pat of butter, just a, well, a little more than a pat. And you're going to let that sit down in there and reduce for a second. I'll tell you something, I'm going to wear this knife out. I'll tell you, to make great food it takes a little bit of extra effort. Well, here goes some parsley, some Italian parsley, into this mixture of onions and garlic and shrimp. And they've been cooked and then deglazed with a little white wine and some lemon juice. Let's go ahead and make this vinaigrette. Now, what I'm going to do is make, I said it was going to be a futon of cabbage. I'm going to make a nice little vinaigrette with some rice wine vinegar. There we go. A little midden, which is a Japanese cooking wine or Asian cooking wine. You can use white wine if that's what you got. There we go. And a little bit of soy. Just a little touch. And some olive oil. Just a nice, like, Asian vinaigrette. OK. Whisk that together. My vinaigrette's done. Now I want to get some cabbage. This is just going to be kind of simple. You know, I'm just going to give a nice little julienne on this, kind of shred it up a little bit, put it into the mixture. And this is going to work as my futon au cabbage for these pepadoos. Not real strong with the knife. Go ahead and grab a mandolin. You can find them pretty reasonable these days. But look at that. I love this cabbage. Right in there. OK. Toss it a bit. Now, it's going to take a little bit of time in this marinade. It needs to soak some of it up. It's kind of like making a coleslaw. If you put the dressing on it right off the bat and then put it on a platter, it kind of runs a bit. So we want this to sit there and kind of soak some of it up in there. All right. 
There we go. Now it's time to stuff the pepperdus. Now, what are the pepperdus? Well, these great little peppers that come out of South Africa. They're kind of spicy. They're kind of hot, um, but they're kind of sweet at the same time. Find a lot of time at, at uh, salad bars or olive bars. So now we take this mixture and we'll give it a little stir. And remember, we've got the, uh, the, the, the shrimp, the onions, the carrots. We deglazed it with white wine. We got some butter. We got some lemon juice. And we just put in some parsley. And we put in some green onions. So you take it like this, pick up a little spoonful. And you almost kind of have to work together on this when you do it. But you'll take that and stuff it. And then it'll sit up in that cabbage like little gems. Huh? What do you think? and shrimp ceviche. We're talking it's marinated in fresh citrus juices and served with crunchy tortilla strips. It's light, refreshing. It is the perfect starter. Here's what we have. I took some shrimp. This is for the ceviche. And a okay. lot of times people take the shrimp and they just go ahead and, and put Rely this into the, the citrus. Lime. Right. And what happens is it will cure it. It will cook it. But not. it gets a little mealy when you do it that so way. Is it like so like boiling? Kind this of is kind of like making shrimp cocktail. So we're going to bring it up slowly and just let it turn a little opaque, take it out of the heat, and then it's ready to go and will absorb all okay. these great flavors. So you're, right. you're great on the cilantro. Thank you want you another know. job? Yes, I do. Okay. Job. If you do good. I do. If you do good to. soon, I will set you up with some fantastic Sonoma County wine. Uh, oh, okay? okay. Let me good. get this. See? Let me earn it. <laughs> nice bribing. Uh, grab the uh, celery over there. Need about five or six stalks. And here's a peeler. And if you could just take the ribs off of the back of that, that's going to come together for this Excellent. fantastic ceviche marinade. Now, while she does that, I'm just going to cut this about a third of a pound to some one inch pieces. How, how much? Perfect. Like you got it. Okay. That's it. Break it in half. Let's, I'll even pop the lid off for okay. you. Huh? There you go. Just don't ask me to get the lid back on there correctly. I wait okay. forever. So now I've got some lime juice, some orange juice. I think that's enough celery. This is pretty okay. big stocks, OK? Right. So here's what we've got. Throw that in there. And the great thing about the celery is it's going to add some nice sweetness. So we'll let this kind of puree up. We're looking good. Let me grab a bowl. Right. You want to give me a little chop on that? Are you good with the uh, uh, the big blade? Yeah. OK. okay. All right, now Let I'm me jump over here. I'll, I'll it... swing around. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so this mixture comes off into the bowl. All right. Now we're going to add a little bit of spice to it. We'll add some cumin, actually some black pepper. Cumin and going. Okay. Some cumin and going. Is that the little <laughs> line you just threw me? I did, I, no, I just. OK. That's perfect. You got enough on that. OK, right. so look at here. The celery, we've got the juices. I had a little bit of cayenne, a little bit of cumin, some salt and pepper. Let's take a look at the shrimp. The shrimp is just starting to come up to color. OK, I'm not going to shock it and put it into an ice bath because then it kind of seizes up. Okay. I'm going to just drop it in here. Okay. Okay. I get shocked when I get put in ice baths, too. Get a little something. Right here, hang on, hang on. Okay, this is the worst part of my career today. Let me just get this cilantro out of your hair. This is great. Hang on a second. Let me, I like this. Let me see. Do you have something on me? Let me, there's cilantro, but I don't That's want to grab it. Okay. okay, hang on a second. You know what? It's, uh, okay, hang on. It's there we go. I got it. All right. Just give me a rerun well, of that tape like, all day. I was like, do I have something on my teeth? All right, so we take the shrimp out. They're a little bit warm, but they're going to cool down when we pop this in the fridge. All right. Now, this is not the super spicy style. All right. But what you have here is the shrimp have been, we par cooked them a little bit, remember, in the water, the salted uh -huh. water. So what we're trying to do is make it so they're not so mealy, mm -hmm. nice and mealy. sweet. Mealy, that's the thing. Normally, they get, like, mealy. Oh, my God, mm -hmm. it's so good. Oh, my God, I like this one. Try it one more time. This time, I just put a little. Don't shot. be shy, don't be there shy. There you go. A little sauce, some hot sauce. Okay. Huh? Uh-huh. Gotta love a girl that could mm. eat. 